What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tag. Today we're taking a look at the 2025 Zephyrus G14. This thing features up to an RTX 5080 and is paired with a Ryzen AI9 HX370 processor. Now, interestingly enough, you can get a 5080 on the G14 with the Ryzen, but you cannot get that on the G16. Uh, or the, the 5090 on, uh, on any of the Ryzen's. You can get a 5090 with the Zephyrus G16, but only with Intel. Um, so, this Ryzen AI9 HX370 is a great CPU. I did like it a lot. Um, you know, it's got a lot of cores and threads. It's got a lot of performance. It's got a great integrated GPU. Um, and you can get up to an RTX 5080. Now, if you get a 5080 or a 5070 Ti, then the laptop is going to come with a thicker chassis. So that if you get the beefier GPUs, the top two models, the, the chassis will be a little bit thicker, the laptop will be a little bit heavier. Um, and that's just due to needing a little bit more cooling and a little bit uh, more space in there for the bigger chips. Um, so just know that going into the purchase. If you want something that is thin and as light as possible, then go with a 5070 or although it eventually it will be released as a 5060 version, I believe. I don't know if a 5050 version will ever be released or not, I'm not sure. Um, don't really know anything official on the 5060 or 5050 uh, versions yet, just because they're not even announced by NVIDIA yet. But the 5070, 5070 Ti, 5080 versions will exist, and the 5070 version will be a little bit thinner than the top two models. So we got a 14-inch Nebula Display OLED. It's a 3K display, or about, I think, 2880 um, resolution horizontally, and it's 100% DCI-P3 OLED, about 400 nits bright when I tested it last year amazing speaker system in this laptop for a 14-inch laptop. Um, let's take a look at the ports. So the design on this machine is very similar to before. I feel like the backlight is brighter. We've got reversible power plug, HDMI 2.1, a USB-C. I think one of these might be a USB-C 4, I'm not sure. Um, 3.2 USB-A headset port. On the right side, we have our micro SD card slot. USB-A, and then another USB-C that does not support power delivery charging in the 2025 model, though the 2024 model did support that. So in some ways, that's a little bit of a downgrade, though that's really not that big of a deal overall. We do have Windows Hello infrared camera system in this laptop. I mean, I really like the Zephyrus G14. I'm gonna like the 2025 version. Maybe I'll go for the RTX 5080 version as my personal laptop. I'm gonna be traveling a lot and I need something portable and thin. That or the Zephyrus G16 with a 5090. That's my two options that I'm really considering right now as my personal laptop for 2025, but we'll see. I need to get my hands on the Razer products. Maybe one of those will win my heart over instead. Because um, I do love my Blade 18, but I mean, I like, I like testing and using the latest products. So I try to upgrade regularly um, just so I can really get my hands on the products and use them a long time. Um, anyway, so that's the Zephyrus G14. Really promising laptop. I think it's, it's gonna be a great laptop for 2025. And I like the fact that you can at least get up to a 5080. I wish they offered a 5090 version. Oh, if Asus offered a 5090 version, that would be amazing, but they do not. So just know that a 58 version is the highest spec version that you can get. And the overall GPU TDP goes up to 110 watts in manual mode only, a bit lower when you're in turbo mode. And keep in mind that's with dynamic boost. So like the base, the base boost is probably more like 80 or 90 watts, somewhere in that range for the GPUs. Uh, that means if the CPU is heavily engaged, the GPU will not be able to pull as much power. And then your GPU will be power limited throttle a little bit more. But overall, G14 looks awesome. I think it's gonna be one of the top recommended portable laptops again in 2025. We'll see, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, tons of other laptops, the Zephyrus G16, G, Strix G18, G16, the SCAR laptops over there. We got uh, overview videos of all of those pretty much already coming out on my channel, so be sure to go check out all the hands-on videos if you want to know all about the new models. See you in the next one. Brandon, out.